Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Conan Exiles. So, we've got a press... Ooh, okay, we've got some lag, is what we've got. Nice lot of lag. We've got a press right here where we can make some oil if we want to. We have got right here a crafting station where we can craft all kinds of wonderful things using dry wood and resin and... Well, the insulated wood requires oil, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure that I want to build the... Because the insulated wood, I've done a little bit of research. Apparently, insulated stuff is really good up here where it's cold. Um, but then the other stuff is actually better for keeping you cool down here where it's hot. So, we don't necessarily want the insulated wood stuff. Um, we'd probably be better off with this, which is quite fortunate because I actually prefer this roof to this one right here. But we haven't finished yet. I would also like to have a look at what some of the other stuff looks like. So if you just very quickly, um, if we take a look in here, we've got, I mean, you've got all the different types of roof up there. That's fine. We, I'm, I'm not really concerned about that right now. No, I want to come down to this. We've got stone brick foundation. We need bricks, we need shaped wood, and we need iron reinforcements to make that. And hang on. I'm going to go foundation a minute. If I do that there so we've got the sandstone wedge we've got the stone brick we've got the stone brick and we've got the stone brick wedge oh and the uh, sandstone uh, insulated wood foundation and then so that one there that requires a load of insulated wood and then we've got the uh, stone brick foundation and then we've got the basic sandstone foundation we know what the basic one looks like so what i'm going to do is I would like to make four or five of each of them, um, not just the, the foundations. I want to make uh, a couple of all of them. We're going to put them over, well, we're just going to drop them down somewhere. So if we can have a look at the wall and the, the floor and the foundation, I want to do two ceilings, two foundations, and two walls of each of them. So what we're going to need to do to start with is we're going to go into here, and we've got 28 of those making at the moment. I have got in here a massive quantity of iron. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to drop those in there, and then I'm going to go to, um, ooh, weapon repair kit. Okay, uh, no, iron repairs right there, 50 of, and we're going to start manufacturing all of those. Then we want to come out of there, and we want to have a look in here, and we're going to need to make some more insulated wood, which means we're going to need some more seeds in this one. This is the way to get oil. That is kind of our bottleneck at the moment in the whole process. The bottleneck is um, the seeds. I've got 27 seeds there. That is all. Do I have more seeds anywhere else? I have none there. I don't think I do, to be honest. I think I, I think I kind of used all my seeds. I've got tar. A little bit of bark as well. Bark can be a bit of a bottleneck on some of these things. There's a couple of oils. I don't think we need a vast quantity of oil. If I take this a second, and we'll take those 32 iron reinforcements, and then we will go to here and... So first up, we want foundation there. We're going to take uh, insulated wood, and that requires the insulated wood. This one here, the brick one, the stone brick, that just requires shaped wood, which is a lot easier to make. We'll go and set some of that going as well. And then bricks, and I've also got a load of bricks kicking around somewhere. So I want two of those, and that's going to that's gonna be the... Pro no, I'm just going to do one of those, because uh, I also need to do the other stuff. So we're going to go... Let me just change that to... Oh, no. Insulated. There. Right, we got. Oh, okay, I got lots of insulated stuff. Uh, insulated door, insulated wooden gate, insulated wooden stairs. Uh, with a rail. Um, okay, yeah, I really do have loads. Uh, one wall there. I'll craft a wall piece. That is good. And I also want to craft a ceiling piece. Where's, where is the seat? There. Insulated wooden ceiling. Craft. And that'll actually do. We'll just do a wall and a ceiling so that we can take a look at that. And we've also got a foundation as well, which we will we'll, we'll put. Um, and then we can do the same with the other. So that's the insulated stuff. So now I just want ceiling. It would help if I did it the other way around, I think. Right, we go ceiling like that there. And it's the sandstone ceiling. We know what that looks like. Uh, stone brick ceiling. I've got those. I need shaped woods and I need bricks. So let's get a load of shaped wood going. Um, that's 
I got two shaped wood, and the rest of it's going to be a problem because I need timber, and I don't actually have very much timber. A bit over here, this is... Nope, I don't have any left in here either. I've got the bark, but um, I took the timber out. We need to go and get some timber. That is our first mighty task for the day. I'm also going to get some bark because we are going to need that. Fortunately for us, we have the times five gathering, which makes it a lot easier to get bark. Um compared to the standard servers. Apparently bark is like one of the major bottlenecks for crafting all the tier 2 stuff, which is fine, and I I'm quite glad that it's not our major bottleneck. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through a minute and gather all the plant fibers that I can, because I'd like to get the seeds as well. And if I do it like this, I only I get the timber, which I want, but I also only get the insects. I don't want the insects. I want the seeds, so I have to gather them like this. Physically just gather them like that, one handful at a time. There we go. I'm going to drop that one there, like that, so you can sort of see the edges of it as well. And I'll put that one beside it like that, so you can see the edges of it. And then we've got a piece of wall in here that we also wanted to just quickly drop onto the back. And that one can go on there like that. So that is the insulated timber. And it does look pretty good. Right? There's no denying it does actually look pretty good. And it's going to be a lot of work if we were to make everything out of insulated timber. But it it, it, it looks alright. I, I quite like it. And in here I want to put... Actually, I want to put some timber, don't I? Right. We'll drop in a couple of stacks of wood like that. And then we can go for some shaped wood. And I'll craft ten of those. And then... I'll leave that for a minute, and we'll go over here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to want some plant fibers in here for something. I don't really know what, but I'm going to drop them all in there, just in case. You never know if I might actually want them there. And we go over to here, and we will drop in all the seeds that we got. i got 50 seeds there, and that is literally the only seeds that I've got. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing. I thought that I would have had more than that. Uh, that's about it, I think. Right, so I want to make uh, the... Oh, no, I know what I need to do. I need to... Yeah, let's take those shaped wood a minute. And I want to make three of these other bits, which were on here. So we go for... found. Oh, no, I need the bricks. I need the bricks. Uh, let me go and get the bricks a minute, and then we can make them. Uh, bricks are downstairs. Bricks are actually fairly easy to make. Uh, it's a little bit time-consuming, but overall they're fairly easy to make. Okay, we've got a load of stuff in there that we want to do something with in a bit, but we're not going to do it yet. I have more plans. I've got I got so many plans. Literally, I've, I've so many plans, you wouldn't believe it. It's, it's just amazing the amount of plans that I've got. It's, it's just astonishing. It really is. It will astonish you just as much as it astonishes me. Uh, so we want to go to Foundation right there, not Foundation. Uh, foundation, insulated, and then stone brick. That's the one. We have everything there, so we can craft that one. And then I want to go ceiling. Nope. I thought that it would, like, automatically just delete, but it doesn't. Ceiling, right there, stone brick ceiling. And I'll make that one. And then I want to go wall. This isn't, like, walk. Wall. Yeah. And we want a stone brick wall. Not a sandstone wall, stone brick wall. That one there. And I want to craft one of them. Okay, so we can put a ceiling in there. We can put a foundation in there. And we can put a stone brick wall right there. So I bring this one over. We will go number seven on that side. We will go number six on that side. And we will go number five on that side. Right. From the inside, the wooden floor, I actually really like the look of the wooden floor for internal building. Right? That looks wicked cool. This one doesn't look a lot different to the one that we've already got in here. Right? It's a slight upgrade in the appearance between the two, but overall, there ain't a lot in it, is there? Not a lot in it at all. You look on the back, again, they're in a lot in it. Whereas that one, there's a definite sort of... There is an, 
a significant difference between the two. Um, overall, though, there's not like a lot. So if we could go with this one, but I don't think it's worth the effort of building these. I don't think, you know, like for appearance wise, because we don't. I mean, yes, role play wise, we do want a strong structure. And we've got that stone, and then the bricks is slightly more even. It's um, it's not quite so uh, like the not so randomly placed that sort of thing. Um, but I think really the one that we want to be looking at is Master Mason up here. Now we've got the Kitan Mason. We could do that, and the Aquilonian. That although those do require the DLCs, and I don't have the DLCs. Um, so th there is that sort of going against us at the moment. Um, th that is a slight issue for us. This requires level 30. I am level 30. I can... Oh, I need another point. That's why. Right. And then you've got the master stuff. So you become the master mason. And that, I, re I, I believe, requires steel in order to make. You, uh, a square foundation piece made in Aquilonian style... And then that one is the Kitan style of building. This one, I think, is just generally spikier. The Master Mason option here. I think it just generally puts things a little bit spikier. And then you've got some darker stone. Um, I mean, looking at these, it's, it is a genuine job to sort of decide which would be the best one. Which, which is going to look the coolest. For the walls, I actually prefer the walls for that. On the inside, um, see these walls here, I don't think there's a lot in it. I really don't think there's much in it. And you, yeah, you've got the, the, the timber on the inside, which kind of makes a bit of a difference there. But for the, the floor, I like this. I like this wooden floor. That I particularly do. I think that is really good. So I'm kind of thinking that ceilings we could make from the wooden floor... And then we could do the rest of it from the stone brick, maybe. But what I actually want to do is I want to level up a little bit. That's going to be my next move. So we're just going to leave those items there for a minute. And we're going to come in here and I'm going to deposit uh, the stone bricks there like that. And oh, actually, I'm not going to deposit that one. I'm going to take this one outside because you can place this one and then you can decorate it with the heads of your enemies. And that's what I wanted to have a look at doing a minute. Because I have the head of an enemy that I've been running around with. So I'm going to bring this spike. I'm going to put it right here. Savage declaration. And then we're going to take that one. Put it there. And that one's going to go... Well, how do you decorate it? I can put these on the ground. I see. Right. Ah. Right, well then... Hold for more. Ah, right. Dismantle. Return to inventory. Interact. I don't understand. Return to inventory. All right. Let's, let's try that. And go to you. This spike can be decorated with various skulls. Info. Once placed, waits patiently for something to be impaled upon it. Well, I have a skull. Uh, info. The dead rise to fight once again. That's a weathered skull. Is that not the one that I want? I have other skulls. I have a number of skulls. Where are they? I forgot. I've, I've left my skull collection behind. It's always a nuisance when you lose your skull collection, isn't it? Now. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's more weathered. Okay, so apparently the weathered skulls is not what I'm after, which means that the spike isn't really going to do a great deal. So I'm going to just leave the spike in there for now. And then what else have we got? kind of want to go into combat with something now. And take a grilled steak right there. And what did I want? Well, no, we'll just, we'll just go like this. We'll see if we can go and get the head of a shale back a minute. Um, I'm going to change my armor. No, I need to go up to my other, uh, to the other box to change the armor. Go to here. Nope, that one. Right, there's my armor kit. If I take you out, like that, and then I can go like. Nope, I don't want to crouch. I want to go like that, and then I can go like this. Change those over, so we are noble, 
in the extreme. And then we can dump those five pieces of armor in there. They, those are for running around at home, whereas this armor is for going out and fighting. Because apparently the, the less leather is better for, um, for fighting. Much like women's armor in general fantasy, artwork and everything, apparently less is more. Um, which is something I've never quite understood the logic behind. But it's there nonetheless, and it seems to stay there permanently, no matter what happens. Um, how much space have we got? Nope, we're doing alright. We we do want to have a drink. There, now we're alright. Okay, so we want to come down here and we want to get these... Uh, well, we want to get their attention. And the best way I know to get their attention is to come over here and... i got a big dude right there. And then there's two little dudes beside them. And the little dudes, maybe I can pull them off separately. Okay, we got that one. And, oh, shield. Shield up. Yeah, he hits fast a couple of times. And then I can do that. Right. That's it. Oops. Okay, that was a mistake from my part. Um, put the shield up. And hit him again, hit him again, hit him again. Nice. Oops. I should have uh, used the weapon then. Go, 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 go. Cripple an enemy. I gained another level. I don't know how I crippled him. I think what you do is you, you, you aim at their feet. Like that. I gotta stop doing that when I'm like let's let's have a bite to eat. There now, no nope, now. So let him, let him do his thing and then do that and then do that. Right. Oh great, he's broke my shield. Okay, hit him again and hit him and oh right. So if I use the the, the like the big ability, that's what um the the big ability is what gets him to. Um, start bleeding. And bleeding is quite a good thing with these. So we use the hatchet. I was told by somebody in the comment section using the hatchet is going to get me the biggest chance of gaining a head for my wall, which is kind of what we want to do. It's mostly what we're after is a head here. I've also gained several levels by doing that. I, also, I did a few other bits as well. Uh, we are going to go and take down that big dude. We're going to do that in a minute because I want to take out that little one up there. And I need the arrows for this. And there, just above him. Nice shot. Okay, we need to do that. And let's keep eating. I'm going to stay here and just regenerate a minute. There. He seems annoyed. All I did was murder his child right in front of him. And he seems dreadfully upset by it. There. Bring that back. There. But he doesn't have the bleed effect on him yet. There. That's it. That's it. I'm actually I'm actually doing better on this now. So I need to use the special attack more. Rather than just like the standard attack. I actually need to use a, a special attack a little more frequently. Like that. There. And take him down. Look at that. I actually did that really well. I'm amazed. I mean, yes, I did, like, climb 17, 30 million gazillion levels while I was doing that. Um, which probably had a little bit to do with it. But I don't think it was all. Uh, I think part of it was my awesomeness. It was just, just me being absolutely awesome and amazing and incredible. It is obviously that had a big part to play. Where did that little creature go? The one that I just killed. The little tiny baby innocent creature that I brutally slaughtered. Where did it go? Anybody see it? There's something there. In the water. And I don't know what that is. Right. Let us go now. We will just do that. And we can stand right where we are for a minute. So what have we got now? We're level 33. Nice. And 45 points. Okay, I can cope with 45 points. Encumbrance definitely has to go up by a couple of levels. Uh, Sure-footed. Crippling effects are less severe. Pack mule. Your carry weight is increased by 
Well, we definitely want to boost that one all the way up. Keep going. Five points a time. All the way up to there. Right. That has now put my encumbrance up to 280. That is a lot of points that I've just put into there, but I think it was worth it. Because, um, yeah, because of our solo style, I think it was worth it. The rest of our points will go into other things as we progress through the game. But um, that, that had to go there. Ah, there it is. It's right here. Let's go to this one. Oh. That one was still alive. I kind of feel bad now. I started, I started harvesting it while it was still alive. Um, I, I do feel a little bit bad. So why is there bubbles here? What do the bubbles do? We can get the orange phycos there. And is that more... Is that orange phycos? It is. Plant fibre. That's plant fibre. Oh, I see. Uh, I don't have much in the way of breath. But I do have... Right, I got a load of the orange phycos. We, we don't need to worry about any more of that for a little while. I'm sure that's going to be useful. Uh, stamina. What do I need stamina for? In the water. Does that, like, stop you from sinking? I know, you know, overall, I'm, I'm aware of, like, the, the whole idea of stamina and everything. But does it, like, stop you from sinking? Uh. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I was just thinking, do I want to come down here again? And there are some camp, there's some human camps down here. Maybe we should be looking around to see if we can get some more thralls. We could bring some back. And this time we don't want fighters. Fighter thralls are not going to be very useful to us. We want the crafting guys. We want the various different ones that do the craftings. Um, but now we're up here, just a second. We're going to go to Feats in there, and we're going to go to Construction. We're going to take the Master Mason. Unlock for seven points. Right. We've got another 20 points. That we can use later. Master Stairmaker. We'll worry about that later. Um, nope. Feet. Decorations. I can unlock a whole load of those. Is there anything in particular that I want? We've got the iron war axe there. I've got the, the iron axe, an unadorned axe of iron, and then uh, health damage 18. That's health damage 25, a vicious double-bladed iron axe. That one... I mean, I like the axe, but I was also told the sword is really, really cool. So I, d I don't know now. This one here is a service called broadsword of iron, health damage 15. That one is 18. And then this one here is the stone sword. So you've got the uh, broadsword, Stygian, Kopesh, a cutlass, a slashing weapon, long sword, a common thin-bladed double-edged sword. That goes all the way up to health damage 26. That's quite high, that one is. I guess, really, we just want to go for one. I was told that the sword is a particularly good weapon to use. And I also wanted to increase the, the shields. We've got the Iron Targe right there. And then the Steel Heater Shield. Health damage 7 to health damage 23. A Heater Shield of Beaten Steel. And that one is health damage 17. I guess that's how much damage you do when you, you, you're walloping it. So what does the shield frame? High end. Oh, high end shields. I see. Star Metal Shield. No. Steel Heater. Which one do I want? I'm going to go with the heater shield, I think. Let's unlock that one. Right. And then for weapons, we'll go with the long sword up here and we'll see what that one does. Seven. It's another seven points. It's very expensive unlocking some of these. Extremely expensive. So we'll go into... Well, is there anything in survival that we want? we got butcher right there, which is a steel skinning knife and a steel cleaver. Um, no, I'm not worried about them. The apiarist, we get these. Okay, I definitely want that one. That's seven points, right? We'll leave that then. Um, yeah, I definitely want to be. I definitely want to do a bit of beekeeping. Beekeeping would be very, very cool if we could do some beekeeping. Now, what was I looking for? Oh, I know what I was looking for. Uh, first up, I want to take this up. We can make smoked meat, and I'm curious what the smoked meat compares to with this. So, yeah, we've got a whole load of bark there. I've got more bark here, which I'm going to drop in there. And then I'm going to put in this 
savory flesh like that and press play and that is going to do 94 dried meat so what is the difference between a dried meat and the other meats we've got the grilled steak right there mid-grade ingredient consumable and it takes about an hour to ah uh, low grade but each one lasts for 16 hours so i'm thinking stop because that says low grade let's see the difference between the two how long does the regeneration thing last if i eat number six uh it actually does fairly well number five i think they last about the same don't they you know i honestly i ha i cannot really tell uh, between the two i honestly can't um the orange fire course the feral flesh no i want the feral flesh will take downstairs somewhere dump that um i do the same with the insects I'll get rid of they somewhere and what else was it that i wanted to do i need to i i, I do need to clear a load of this stuff out in a minute uh, i want that truncheon right there and i've got a couple of fiber bindings but there was another item that I, ah there it is that one the blunted javelin that i also made that i wanted to try out and see what this one does to see if um like because that does armor penetration eight percent health damage ten but it's also for knocking out foes and whereas this one here health damage one for knocking out foes so it's it's got to be one one or the other uh, so I reckon that we could use this and it might help. We've also got a sh Oh, no. That was the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go and make a shield. Uh, like a much better shield than the one that we've got. And I'm hoping that I can now do that. So we go into here and I should have... Oh. Well, uh, I've got the long sword. 20 steel bar and some branches. Where's the shield? I had a shield. I, 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 I made the shield. Don't take this away from... Oh, do we... Do we just make the shield in here? Do we just go like this? Shield. No. Uh, wooden shield. Bone shield. Right. That one requires a load of bones. Uh, I don't have a load of bones. Um, carpenter's bench. Maybe it's on the... Surely it's not on the artisan's work table. No, that wouldn't be the shield. So, did I actually... I, I did learn the shield thing, didn't I? Armor. No. Weapons. Yes, I did. Steel, heater, shield. Right there. A heater, shield. Crafted. Oh, armor is workbench. That's downstairs. Steel, heater, shield. I need steel bar and I need wood. And to make the steel bar, I need coal. Pretty sure. Have I got the recipe for coal? Or did I use the coal for burning something else? Um, steel bar. I got iron bars. We've got those. Now, how do I make steel bar? Dismantle the steel bars. There, steel reinforcement. Steel reinforcement. Steel bar. So where do I make the steel bar? It does not tell me how to make steel bar. I think I need the coal, and the coal goes in here alongside the steel. And then it gets turned into steel. And that's how we do it. So I need steel bar for that shield. I made the wrong... I learned the wrong shield. Basically, I've, I've skipped a step on the making of the shields. That's fine. We, we don't mind that. We can live with that. So let's go for a little jog down the bottom down here. You know, actually, I need to go and jog down... No, I can go this way. Because I can just grab a little bit of water when we get down here. There's usually two crocodiles down here. So we will do mortal combat with the crocs as well. And then we've got to see if we can capture a thrall while we're down here. And, you know, a few other bits and pieces. So let's go. Right, i got one crocodile come running. The other one is not. So why is the other one staying behind? I don't actually know, but I can just do that. There. Keep going. Oh, nice. Nice. You go like that. And, um, I think I just... Do I just hold the button? I'm not really sure. 
I, I, I genuinely don't know at the moment how I'm supposed to be doing this. Whether I'm doing it right or wrong or what. But uh, that's fangs and feral flesh. That is not actually anything that I wanted. So let me go back to this one. And I will just eat one of them. And then hopefully here comes Le Croc. We'll do that. And I go straight in for the kill. Shield up. Shield up. I don't know why I'm not, like, going back in the other direction. I'm, like, I'm, I'm holding it, but it's, it doesn't seem to be going back in the other direction. Right, let him attack, and then let me attack. There. Like that. And then take him down. Right, I've gained another level. Excellent. Let's take him down. Barrel flesh. Bone. But no, um, no heads. No prizes. So we need to go over this way a little bit. We're going to go carefully. Because there are people over there. And those are the ones we want to capture. If we can capture some people there. This is going to be absolutely great. So we've got feet over here. We've got 13 points available now. And it was under survival. Was it butcher? No, it was the apiarist. That's the one that I wanted to unlock. That one right there. And then construction... We can go and make the Master Mason stuff. We're not going to worry about the rest of that for a minute. Uh, but stats. Nope. Attributes. Yep. There we go. So we've got strength, agility. These are all cost one, the accuracy ones and so on. And we've got at the moment, we've got seven points. Uh, encumbrance is 308 with our armor. I'm going to boost survival a couple of skills. It goes up to five. And... Right. So they're now all on twos. There, we'll put some, put a little bit into survival. Just like that. Now, who have we got over here? And can we do anything with them? Okay, I'm just going to do that a minute. We've got a fighter and a fight. Well, they're no good. You picked the wrong fight. Nope, actually, you two have picked the wrong fight. By a long way. Look, look. Okay, let's um, go away from the ketchup a minute. Uh, the, um, yeah, they, they, they definitely picked the wrong fight with me because, ooh, loot chest. We'll take the bones. Um, take those. Leave the stones. Uh, yeah, the, the, the whole idea is that I'm supposed to be able to find people that aren't fighters. I don't want fighters. I want other people. And have they got any interesting loot? Nope. And no. Okay, we'll leave them there. They are no good to us. So what we'll do is, well, we, we, this was kind of a bit of a loss, really. Let's let's get some drink. We got some of that. We've leveled up quite a few times, actually. We, we've the leveling up thing is is going quite well now. That seems to, that seems to be doing really well for us. Where we that it seems to be at least one thing is going in our favour. Um, I reckon that we want to make a few. Oh, I know what I can do. I want to have a look at, not attributes, inventory, and then I want to go to a uh, wall, like that, and we've got black, wow, okay, so we've got a black ice reinforced wall, that's black, that requires black ice, that's probably like a really super high-end ingredient that we're never going to get hold of, so that's, that's nothing that we're going to do, okay, let's go with foundation then, because that's probably the easiest one, um, so we've got the stone brick, we've got the sandstone, we've got the reinforced stone, that's new, steel reinforcement, insulated wood, and then black ice. Steel reinforcement, insulated wood, and black ice. Okay, that's extremely difficult to make. That one there, shaped wood, steel reinforcement, and hardened brick. How do you make a hardened brick? Should you put the bricks back into the furnace? Maybe you do. Maybe you need coal for that. Right, so we got a little bit of a mystery there, because we need to be able to make the hardened brick. I just want to get that last one, the black ice thing. I don't think that is anything that's going to be happening for us anytime soon. And then we can make a decision on what we're going to build the majority of our um, property out of. Whether it's going to be these right here, or these, or we're just sick with... St we could do the entire thing out of sandstone. Um... Yeah, bricks, reinforced timber, a combination of these two, or this new one that requires steel, and 
I'm not entirely sure how to make the steel. That's that's going to be a, a slight problem. I know how to go and get coal. I can go and get that. That's not an issue at all. Right. In order to get uh, steel, we have to have a special recipe. You have five iron bars for steel that go into there. And you also need from this bad boy right here, uh, not the alchemical base, uh, steel fire. Need that. Ta, we got. Brimstone, not so much. Brimstone is apparently one of the most valuable commodities in the whole of the world of um, it, it, this, this uh, in in the whole of the Conan Exiles world in Hyboria. Uh, I'm assuming this is Hyboria, isn't it? Yeah, it must be. Um, yeah, in the whole of Hyboria, brimstone is one of the most valuable commodities in existence. You can farm it by uh, from spiders and rock noses, apparently. I don't know if it's the rock noses that we, you know, those um, things that we had up there. Uh, so maybe, is it these? Yeah, rock nose head. So maybe we can get some if we go up there and we harvest, we farm a few of those. We might be able to. And then we could get some steel... And we can have a look. Although the general consensus of opinion is that tier 2 is the better looking materials. Of all of the materials, tier 2 is the best looking. Now, I don't know. And we can look at this in daylight. I'm actually going to go and I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do that. Now, admittedly, I've got a few more episodes to record this week. So I'm not going to be able to see your final votes but now that I look at it with the sunlight on it I am starting to think the one I'm stood right in front of the stone brick here is looking pretty good compared to the just the stone the sandstone over there um, and the insulated wood is good for like breaking it up so I think that maybe we will be sticking with this it will we'll go and get the brimstone in the next episode um, well we'll see if we can at least and we'll have a go with that and I'll wear this armor this time um, We'll see what we can do. It's, uh, yeah, it could be an interesting experience. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Sorry. <laughs> that, was, that just surprised me. Surrender. Uh, cheer. Woo! <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Until next time. Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.